Hello guys and welcome to my channel. In today's video, we are going to look at Toastmasters International. I have been receiving a lot of questions lately on why did I join Toastmasters and when am I leaving? These are the two questions people often ask me. Before we go deep into this, let me tell you my biggest motivation to join Toastmasters International. As we all know, it's headquartered in the United States and it's a non-profit educational organization that teaches public speaking and leadership skills. So if you are the type of person that is having difficulty in communicating to your audience, maybe your students, maybe your friends, maybe in meetings you are having challenges in coordinating your rhetorics and sending your words in the most optimized form, then I recommend you join Toastmasters International. This is an organization that is present in over 144 countries. It has more than 280,000 members globally. And we currently have about 14,700 clubs across the globe. So it's such a powerful organization. So why did I join Toastmasters? You see, earlier on when I started my lecturing job in the university, I used to have stage fright, a lot of stage fright. So when I come to teach my students, when they are getting many, especially when I teach them in a bigger theater, I used to have this stage fright and nervousness, you know? At some point, my voice would start shaking and my legs would start shivering. And I thought to myself, yes, that something is wrong. I'm not used to public speaking. I'm not used to looking at the crowd directly. I knew something was wrong and I kept on asking questions around. And people kept telling me that to keep practicing, that practice makes perfect. Ladies and gentlemen, I have been practicing, but unknowingly to me that I was practicing the wrong way. So I was perfecting the wrong things. Okay, so what, I, what I'm trying to say is that practice alone is not enough. You have to practice the right way, which means you have to practice with feedback. Now, this brings us to what is actually happening in a Toastmasters meeting if you join as a member. Now, the first thing that happens is it gives you the opportunity to write your own speech, come up on stage, face the crowd. Now, because of the COVID, a lot of things are happening virtually. Physically, in a club meeting, you face the crowd and you deliver your speech. All right, your speech or presentation, whichever one. Now, what happens is somewhere, someone is looking at you and he's noting out some points as you are delivering your speech or presentation. Now, he's paying attention to your eye contact. He's paying attention to your body language. He's paying attention to the overall structure of your speech. How do you coordinate them? How do you deliver the speech? Okay, your delivery. Are you too fast? Are you too slow? Are you nervous? So all these things are being noted by someone somewhere in that meeting called an evaluator. And that evaluator is going to tell you all the things that you do right and all the things that you do wrong during your speech or presentation. If you've made a mistake, there will be evaluation, which means that you are going to be corrected on some of the things that you didn't get right. Now that's the first part, you delivering a speech physically. And the second part is you have the opportunity to listen to other people's stories as well, because most of your members also will give speech on that day or subsequently. So you have the opportunity to hear from their story, to hear from their delivery style, and most of those things you pay attention to, and you will be given the opportunity also to evaluate others, okay? People will give their speeches, and you will evaluate based on what you see, and based on the criteria that have been highlighted, you'll be given the opportunity to evaluate them. Now that's the first part, speech delivery. The second part of any Toastmasters meeting involves impromptu speaking. Okay, you will just come up on stage and there will be random questions. They will ask you any question and you are to discuss that question within two minutes. There's no right or wrong answer. Just go ahead and give it a try. But the most important part of this is while you are speaking, while you are answering these questions within two minutes, someone somewhere is looking at you and is jotting down some of the things you do right and some of the things you do wrong and how can you make it better. You will hear that at the end of the meeting as well. And the last part, 
of the meeting, which is the overall evaluation section. Someone, somewhere, all those people that evalu that evaluated the speeches and the impromptu section will be given the opportunity to speak out. And now they tell you politely what you did wrong, what you did right, and how to make it better. So Toastmasters International is an organization that empowers people to come out, to boldly speak up, to have the ideas exposed out in the most professional way. Yeah? In the most professional way. You will look professional. You will sound professional. You're going to be transformed from someone with stage fright to someone who is bold and confident in facing the crowd. So ladies and gentlemen, whether you are having a stage fright, whether you are facing difficulty delivering your lectures, whether you are having even difficulty coordinating your words and toasting your girlfriend, if you join Toastmasters, they are going to help you transform your words. You will not have filler words. They will eliminate it gradually. So one thing that I need to warn you is uh, joining Toastmasters, you have to participate actively for you to see the changes dramatically happening in you. It's not like going to the gym and registering yourself without participating in all the exercises and functions. You have to get data. You have to write your speeches. You have to come up on stage. You have to speak up. Then people will notice the mistakes and they will correct you accordingly. So this is a big challenge to you. I have developed through Toastmasters International. It helped me even during my PhD. I've seen a lot of improvement because during my defense, my supervisor, external one, he said to me that I am marveled by your presentation. And that's thanks to Toastmasters International. I have emanated through this journey because I started it in January 2019. I have been through a lot in Toastmasters. I have gone through three good pathway programs. Usually there are about 11 educational pathway programs. I've learned about presentation mastery. I've learned about leadership development. And currently in my level five of effective coaching, presentation mastery, as the name implies, you master the art of delivering effective presentations. What are the strategies? How do you make it better? How do you connect with your crowd? How do you get them engaged throughout your presentation? How do you get them connected to you? from the beginning to the end of it. Now in leadership development as well, I learned about the basics of leadership. Who is a leader? What are the attributes of a leader? How does a leader drive his followers to achieve a common goal? What are the strategies to become effective in leadership? How to delegate responsibilities? How to carry out tasks effectively? You know, just identify the goals and carry your own followers to achieve that goal. Because leadership is so unique that it can come to you at any given point. So you have to start learning anywhere, anytime. And it's something that you get to get yourself involved to be able to learn the basics. And lastly, I'm learning about effective coaching. Okay, how is the relationship between a mentor and a mentee? Who is a mentor and who is a mentee? And how are these people connected? Who is a coach additionally? The co relationship that exists in between them, how to stay active and productive as a coach, how to stay active and productive as a mentee to your mentor, how to treat your mentees, and how to treat your mentors to come out successful. And with some exciting tips and tricks on how to do better. This is what I'm learning. And at some point, I'm beginning to notice the changes because of my participation in Toastmasters. So I hope you are inspired. Go and pick the challenge. Join any Toastmasters. Go to the, the, the website toastmastersinternational.org and then just find a club. There are several clubs around you. Find anywhere. Attend the meeting as a guest and see what they are doing. Okay? Just see for yourself. You'll be welcomed because they are the most positive sort of people I've ever met in my life. Full of positivity. So my dear friends, if you want to be better in terms of speaking out, if you want to be better in terms of even developing positivity, okay, you want to be positive and you want to improve your physique in leadership, you want to improve your IQ in leadership, you want to get straight to the point in leadership, then Toastmasters is for you. I hope you are inspired and you'll be ready to join Toastmasters. Um, thank you very much for watching and I hope you have learned something today. I'll see you in my next video. Peace out.